everyone. My name is Sarah Rabar and I'm a contemporary mixed media artist uh, and I live and work in New York. I generally work with bronze, wood, textiles, um, a lot of objects that I collect from going to flea markets and different places, anywhere, anytime, just anything that really like stands out to me and triggers something, um, an emotion, a memory. It's just really, sometimes I can't even explain it. I just collect and collect and then I start piecing things together. And I, as you can see behind me, there's like a textile. I used to work with the American flag a lot. I used to, I work with bronze a lot. These are cast arms. Uh, from the body and I work with I cast them in white bronze and I attach them to different collected objects that I find and During this time of quarantine I, I didn't have access to the bronze and the wood and the collected objects because I have to be out and about and searching for these things and uh, The foundry closed and I was kind of like limited to what was in the house um, And I have to make work like if I don't make work I start going nuts and I become a menace to society and it just gets really crazy. So <laughs> to keep myself sane during this time, which I'm sure a lot of people uh, had to find different things, different activities and things to do to maintain their sanity. Um, I started collaging and it was like a very organic and natural thing for me to do because when I was younger, I, I used to paint and do collage work. And as the work evolved and I changed, I just stepped away from it somehow all these years. And I gravitated towards sculpture and, and heavier materials and it, it just, it just like disappeared and that's how i think it is like things people situations you when when it's time for them to return you have to let let, let them come and when it's time for them to go you have to let it go and the collage just like very organic organically came back into my life after like 20 something years and i used to graffiti when i was younger and like i just picked up like spray paint and i picked up like you know ink and you know like watercolors and like i found my brushes from like the 80s and like it was just like you know things that like that i only worked with like when i was a kid like you know crayons and pastels and like you know even like things in the house like just like stuff like pens and pencils and magic markers and things that i literally hadn't touched in like 20 years and i just uh and recently I've become, I dealt with a lot of like depression, anxiety and addiction and things like that. And to be able to like deal with that kind of stuff, I became sober and I became vegan and um, I started running and, you know, different things to just kind of like be a better person for myself, for the planet and just like all life, <laughs> like for people and animals. I just wanted to really just do a lot of like, I just needed a shift in my body, in my mind, in my soul, in my energy. And I've been running for about seven years. And on my run, I come across a lot of like collected objects and things. It's really weird. I'm always coming across, you know, bringing, I'm attracting that into my life always. And I came across really randomly the American flag. And it's these American flags that you, um, people use for like parades and things like that, like during a uh, very festive American, filled with pride, nationalism, holidays. And as I saw it, I was like, oh, should I pick it up? Should I? And I just like ran, I kept running. And after a few times uh, on my trail, I was like, you know what, this, there's something here. Let me just take this. And I brought it home. And a second I brought it home, it found itself kind of being incorporated into my collages. And it was just the most natural, organic thing. And I think that's how I've always made my work, like very organically and very naturally. And I can't, force it and I, it just it needs to just flow and I, I, I take all these dark heavy feelings and I try to turn it into something beautiful um, into something um, light and into something that hopefully can give something to someone else and has layers and um, I can just it's it's strangest I take this stuff and I just it just I'm like a vessel and it just uh, kind of like it, I'm a conduit it, it goes through me and it becomes something completely different but you know it has those feelings and stuff that I was dealing with when I was attracted to to, to the those themes or this like like I started picking up let me just show you uh images from books from war and I always for some reason I'm attracted to like things about the human condition like pain violence fear um war for some reason just keeps coming I, I don't know what it is i just have to let it kind of flow until it doesn't anymore you know it's just stuff that is it's coming up for me and i have to i just let it come out really naturally so i started making these collages and i'm really excited about them and they're called animals 
it's a new it's become a new body of work a new series that just happened really organically because i had to sit still and let my mind kind of like guide me and i hadn't done that in a, i mean i do that in the foundry and i do that with free markets but this was different i had to sit still and it it, it, it was very limited access and it was just things surface when you're on your own and this is what surfaced for me and i treat it the same as like i would treat my collected objects like uh and my uh, bronze and, and wooden works i try to beat them up and make them look lived and um, weathered and because i don't like new shiny slippery things that make me very uncomfortable so i try to have that same feeling with my collages i try to kind of like beat them up and make them look scarred and imperfect and it's taken on a life of its own and it saved my life during this time of quarantine and i'm very very excited about it and i think i'm going to show you one of my favorite ones and they're all very different some of them are black and white some of them have that little flag in it some of them um have lots of colors but i just go with my gut i go with my instinct and like everything else and i just trust whatever is guiding me and i let it guide me and most of the time all the time beautiful things happen amazing things happen from just trusting it um and where's my here's my favorite one let's see this is one of my favorite and this is with that flag that i found on my run and I'm just really excited about this work. I never thought I'd go back to paper, um, even though I started to work canvas or ink or paint, but it kind of flows with the rest of my work. I feel like it really just continues that language, that conversation. And I just love the textures and like I pour stuff on it and make it super heavy. Like the backs are like <laughs> so heavy with oils and uh, it's just, just like, I, it just, I just, I feel like I'm just pouring out everything that's like, bubbling to the surface and when i do that it's a release for me and something amazing always comes out of it that's been my experience let me look at the back of this one so much heavy 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 stuff sometimes we have to just let go and let whatever comes up come <laughs>